Finally, we will look at government. Though Islam spread in part through economics, it also spread through military conquest. For years, Muhammad had tried to bring Islam to the people of Mecca peacefully. Now, it was time to fight. The Muslims faced their own tribes, brother fighting brother, son against father. Yet they came armed with a powerful weapon, a passionate belief in their faith. Muhammad's troops fought with every confidence that God's will was guiding them. They fought three very, very bloody battles. Um, at one point, the entire young Muslim community was right on the edge of annihilation. For three years, the Muslim army held out against staggering odds. As word of the fighting spread, other Bedouin tribes saw God's hand in Muhammad's victories. One by one, the peoples of the desert began to join in his struggle. The Muslim army grew, and the tide began to turn. The Muslim forces advanced to the outskirts of Mecca. It was a furious siege that lasted for nearly a month. Until, finally, the city fell to Muhammad. In 630 AD, the terrified people of Mecca braced for the onslaught. Muhammad's army was returning home, now 10,000 strong. The vanquished knew the terrible fate that awaited them. According to the modes of tribal warfare, the Meccans could expect a big revenge. The men are usually killed, uh, women and children are sold into slavery. There's little pity for the loser in a tribal war. that standard around the world. Flush with victory, his troops marched straight to the Kaaba. Seven times they circled the shrine, as those who'd come to seek its protection appealed to their idols. But it was not the pagan people Muhammad had come to destroy. It was their gods. He raised his staff, and the tribal gods of his ancestors smashed into dust. The destruction of the idols was a new beginning, a breaking from the past and the creation of a powerful new force. Mecca was just the beginning. One after another, the tribes of a nation were summoned to the fold and united under the banner of Islam. A worldwide community of faith was begun, born in an extraordinary alignment of history, personality, and conviction. What Muhammad did was to bring a sense of solidarity, a sense of mission, and he united all these separate segments within the peninsula, from then on moved eastward, westward, northward, southward.
Muhammad's ideas about one God were not accepted peacefully. The tribe leaders in Mecca enjoyed having the idols there as it was a way to make good money. If Muhammad's idea stuck and tribes gave up their idols, they would miss out. So, they kicked Muhammad out of Mecca entirely. He went to the city of Medina and continued to preach his message. His words were more accepted in Median and Muhammad gained many followers. He built up an army and prepared to return to Mecca. Fighting raged for three years before Muhammad and his army were victorious. They marched into Mecca and smashed the idols. Islam was now required. Well, that's it for the lecture on Arabia and Islam. Next time we'll be talking about the empires of West Africa. I bet that will be cool.